Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you my work day evening routine today. Some of you asked how I wind down and sort of switch off after a busy day and it's such an important thing to do and it's such a difficult thing to do, especially if you're very busy or you're self-employed and you have like a never ending to-do list. So the first thing that I actually do is I grab my bullet journal and I make my to-do list for tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I feel like prepping my to-do list for tomorrow, prepping my schedule, really helps me end the day on a focused note, but also means that everything is out of my head onto paper and I can switch off and forget about it then. I will write my list, I will close my notebook and I will put the elastic band around the notebook and flip it over onto its back and put it on my desk. So that is a great kind of message to my like subconscious and just a tangible trigger that the work day is done and it's time to relax. So I'm going to do that now and then I am just going to relax for a bit. I really just like to do what I fancy, whether it's getting back to texts or messages, whether it's catching up on YouTube videos, that's probably what I'm going to do now, to have a cup of tea, maybe have a think about what I want to eat for dinner, sort of check in with myself a little bit and just relax and not feel like I have to do something else straight, straight away, especially as I've just been sat in like really focused work mode for a couple of hours. So. I'm honestly just gonna switch my brain off for half an hour or so and just have a cup of tea. So I've got some sweet potato wedges in the oven with a corn burger. <laughs> I would usually make time for something healthier but we need to do a veg shop and sometimes you just want burger and chips so that's what I'm gonna have. So that's in the oven now and I'll probably just watch YouTube videos eating that. Look at this setup. Oh! After tea, I've got this one to come to and good all live in bed. Not the prettiest tea, but still very tasty. I'm watching a video about so think about how many diverse people are in the I put my two bedside lamps on just because it makes like a calmer atmosphere. And I'm just sort of picking up, like spending 10, 15 minutes just tidying up. I'm um, taking like all washing downstairs or just picking up any bits. Adam gets so annoyed because I always leave drawers open. <laughs> Do you guys like my leopard print slipper socks? So yeah, always like relaxing a little bit but also tidying up a little bit and just making sure my room is like clear of clutter and I can just relax. So I'm going to make a herbal tea. I'm gonna do my skincare routine. I bet you guys were expecting something way more extravagant when you asked for a weekday evening routine, but this is my life. This is very simple. There is no fancy yoga studio, hot yoga. There is no green smoothies. There is no meal prepping for a year's worth of healthy food. <laughs> There is nothing sort of Instagram or Pinterest worthy, it's just me chilling. So I look really shiny right now, but I've just done my skincare routine and I wanted to show you some of my evening pamper products because this video is all about winding down after a busy day and some of these products really do help me get into that like relaxing spa ritual feeling. Liz Earl Super Skin Concentrate. This is a facial oil. It's like a mid-range to pricier facial oil I would say for my budget and what I've had experience with. So if you're willing to spend a little bit more on your skincare I would definitely look into this one. It smells amazing and my skin just kicks right off when the weather changes when it starts getting colder in the uk i get pretty 
horrendous like dehydration on my forehead and makeup clings to it and my skin just looks really dull and like luster so that oil really really does help rose hand cream that my mum bought me from bulgaria because apparently bulgaria um, export loads of rose products so this is an organic rose water hand cream and it's a anti-aging formula apparently so it has a little bit of retinol in not that i'm really bothered about that because sunscreen is my main anti-aging tip but i do really love using a good hand cream before bed just because it's nice to let it sink in overnight and it does add to that like a little ritual so before i go to bed i do my skincare routine i use my hand cream sometimes if i've done my nails as well i will use this se apricot cuticle oil and finally sometimes i also use the mio liquid yoga spray so this is like a spray with lavender and other essential oils in so that smells amazing and is really relaxing and i usually just use that as like a room spray and just spritz it around i've got some peppermint and licorice tea so i'm gonna drink that in bed and read a book and just relax and then go to sleep but this is genuinely what i do to relax and switch off during the week so making my to-do list and putting my bullet journal away and anything relating to work stopping anything work related so i can be productive but i usually do life stuff in the evening watching my favorite youtube videos or just relaxing in general and doing whatever i fancy making myself a meal tonight wasn't the best meal because we do need to go and get a fruit and veg shop but I always try to make time to make something for, for tea rather than just leave it to the last minute. So it's currently about quarter to ten. I generally try to go to sleep around ten, half ten. There we have it, my evening routine. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe, please join our community. I will leave a link down below where you can sign up. And I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know any other routine videos you want to see and I will see you soon. Bye.